Well, we're here at the Circus Maximus for the 17th Susan G. Coleman Race for the Cure for Breast Cancer. It's an American institution, but it comes here to Rome for the annual race. And this year, I think it's going to be 70,000 people, by far the biggest one in the world. We've been supportive of this effort. We've had many of our embassy people here in the hundreds or so, and I think really are doing everything we can to make it a success. Since 1916, the Diplomatic Security Service has been protecting our U.S. embassies, diplomats, and American citizens overseas. In commemoration of the 100-year anniversary of this agency, we're starting the DSS Global Race for Charity. The U.S. Embassy Rome has decided to pick Casa Scalabrini 634 as the charity for our support this year. Casa Scalabrini is an organization which supports refugees and migrants who come to Italy and they help them integrate into society. We have also partnered with the Komen Race for the Cure, who has offered to assist with the race as well as donate a portion of the funds received from Team USA towards medical screening and health awareness for Casa Scalabrini refugees. Every year that goes by, we get a year closer to some sort of cure or ability to deal with breast cancer so it's not a fatal disease. Vice President Biden was here to meet with the Pope and medical experts around the world about cure for cancer. It's very hopeful that they think within the next three to four years they'll have a significant breakthrough where it's a treatable disease and not a fatal disease.